Hello viewers, you're welcome to Carrie's Tutorials and I'm Simeon Grace. Today we're going to be doing how to cut a mono strap top with double flay and of course a bishop sleeve. We're going to be needing different materials in this tutorial. I have the plain fabric, the Ankara fabric and of course the chiffon fabric for my sleeve. The measurements we're going to be working with are the underbust measurements, the half length and of course the full length of our blouse and also we'll be needing the shoulder measurements, the bust measurements, the underbust measurements and that's all and of course we'll be needing the sleeve length. We're going to be doing all this in this tutorial and you're going to love it. So let's move on. Welcome back. To cut out the half length first, we're going to fold the fabric with the highest measurement, which is the bust. And the bust is 32 inches, so 32 plus 8 divided by 4 is 10 inches. The half length, that's the length, the length measurement is 15 inches and I'm going to add 1 inch to the length, that will be 16 inches. I'll measure 16 inches and I'll fold 10 inches. So I have my 10 inches folded and the length 16 inches. The underbust measurement is 12 inches and I'm going to measure 8.5 inches down for the armhole. The shoulder measurement is 14 and 14 divided by 2 is 7 inches. So the bust is 10 inches from the calculation. And we have the, the under bust measurement to be 26 inches and 26 plus 8 divided by 4, we have 8.5 inches. So I'm going to draw out my shape. Now from the arm O, since it's a mono strap dress, I'm going to I'm going to increase this by two inches. So I'm going to cut like this. So this is the front part, so let's cut it out. This is the front, so I'm going to place this to cut out the back and I'm going to add my zip allowance. I have my zip allowance and now I'm going to cut what I have here. And of course, I'm going to divide the back into two.
so we have the front and the back and now the neck design the wideness four inches four inches and all i'll just do is to notch the four inches then i'm going to open the front part and I'm going to cut along, so I need to measure the deepness. The deepness is 5 inches. 5 inches. So all I'm just going to do is to draw a curve line. And I'm going to cut. So for the back, I'm going to place this. Remember we had it at 2 inches allowance. So Sorry, the back going to face um, the other side of the fabric so this is the back and the front so I'll do the same thing I'll just trim it out trim it out Yeah. So this is um, the front and the back. Now we'll move to the down part of the blouse. We have the half length already, so we're going to call it the flay part of our blouse. And it's two step. The flay is two step. So the first one is going to be the length of eight inches. Remember, the full length is 23. We have 15, which is the half length. We've got that one out already and the remaining length is 8 inches. So I'm going to fold my fabric. I'll be cutting out full flip for the two. The first one, the length is going to be 8 inches. I'll add my sewing allowance. I'll cut 9 inches. And the second one is 5 inches. I'll add my sewing allowance and cut out 6 inches. So the two are full flip. I folded my fabric now. And in case you still don't know how to fold your fabric for full flay, can you watch how to cut different types of flay? It's going to help you. The length is 9 inches and the band measurement is 26. So 26 divided by 8 is 3.5, 3.25. So I have my 3.25. And the length nine inches. This is the first one. To repeat the second one with a length of six inches.
we have the first one and the second. Now, let's move to the sleeve. The measurement, the length of my sleeve is 21 inches. I'm going to increase the length because I'm going to use elastic at the base of the sleeve and I want it to be more, very much, um, much puffy. So I'm going to increase the length to 23. And also the wideness is going to be a very big one. So the wideness of the sleeve, I'll be using 15, I'll be folding 15 inches. That will give us 30. I'm going to form a, a gathers with it. So that's what I'll be doing now. The length is 23. And with my sewing allowance, I'll measure out 24 inches and of course the folding is 15 by the time I unfold it I will have 30 inches so that's what I'll be using for this sleeve and also it's going to have a band so I'm going to be using this fabric to cut out the band part of the sleeve so let's cut it out so I have my fabric folded and the length 24 inches so I'm just going to cut that straight. I'm going to use elastic at the base of the sleeve and here I'm going to gather together. And the band This is going to form the band on the sleeve. So I folded oh, two inches, folded two inches, and the length is eight inches, two inches and eight inches. I'm going to gather this part of the sleeve as well and now for the other side of my blouse I'm going to have the bow and for the bow the measurement is um, 7 by 5 inches I'm going to make it 2 and with the same measurement 7 by 5 inches I'm going to use this to form a bow on the blouse and my Ankara fabric also. I use the Ankara fabric to make a rose. I also use the Ankara fabric to make roses on the bow. This is one. So I'm going to have one on this and the second on it as well. So that's the head of our cutting. That's all for the cutting today and I'm sure you enjoyed the class. Thanks for watching Carrie's tutorials. I still remain Simeon Grace. And don't forget for more videos, click on the subscribe button. And also you can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at OAfrica TV. You can also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Carrie's Creations. Till I see you next class. Bye.